。上次咧就介绍过循环系统 （circulatory system） 咧，就由 blood、blood vessels 同埋 heart 所组成啦。咁我哋又简单睇一睇，其实佢哋系点样去运作噶啦。咁如果我哋睇翻我哋人類嘅話咧，身體上高係滿布住我哋嘅循環系統嘅血管啦，中間有個不斷跑動、不斷跳動嘅心臟。咁而佢咧入邊，我哋會見到喺血入邊咧有好多嘅 red blood cells， 入邊有好多呢一個咁樣嘅東西，咁佢叫做 hemoglobin， 咁佢負責咧可以黐住啲 oxygen。咁而經過我哋嘅心臟啦。咁不斷跳動，將啲血咧泵入同泵離開個心臟，咁去到我哋唔同嘅部分。咁第一個部分咧，佢負責係幫佢肺嗰度，就叫 pulmonary circuit。佢肺嗰度咧就拎翻啲 oxygen 翻嚟。咁第二個部分咧就叫做 systemic circuit， 咁就負責咧將我哋嘅血泵去身體其他部分，咁包括咗我哋嘅肌肉啊、腸啊等等。咁而呢個運作咯同流動咧，係經過你心臟不斷咁樣跳動先至可以做得到嘅。咁有心臟上面咧，有條最粗嘅血管叫做 aorta。喺入邊咧，我哋個心主動咁會泵啲血離開呢個心臟。咁然之後咧，就會由 aorta 去到 arterial， 再經過 capillaries 等等嘅地方。咁喺呢一度咧，我哋布滿住 oxygen 嘅 red blood cells 就可以慢慢咁樣咧。喺度將啲 oxygen 去同人哋交換翻，拎翻啲 carbon dioxide 入嚟啦，完成咗佢運送嘅工作。咁當佢運送完 oxygen， 拎咗啲 carbon dioxide 嘅時候咧，就會經過條 vein 入翻，將啲血咧帶翻翻入去心臟嗰度嘅。咁呢度咧，我哋大概知道咗咧，其實喺嗰個循環系統點樣運作。咁但係咧，其實唔係所有嘅生物都需要啲循環系統嘅。咁譬如有啲好細粒嘅 microorganisms 啦，咁其實佢哋嗰個誒、呃、有一個好細嘅關係嘅，咁所以根本都唔需要喺個循環系統幫手。咁好似我哋人類咁樣咧，比較大份嘅話啦，咁由好多 cells 組成嘅話，如果淨係靠 diffusion 慢慢去 diffuse 啲嘢入去身體嗰度咧，其實太慢啦。咁你餓死同埋缺氧都似，咁所以我哋身體上高咧就需要循環系統幫手去進行一個 transport。咁之前我哋講第一部分啦，第一部分就係講 blood， 成日都話 blood 入邊有 nutrients、oxygen 同 waste。咁但係其實究竟佢哋有啲乜嘢喺度嘅咧？又問一問大家啦，究竟我哋幾時需要 blood transfusion？ 幾時需要輸血咧？咁特別咧就係當我哋身體咧有啲過多嘅。blood loss 嘅時候，咁佢就需要輸血啦。啊，咁但係我哋譬如喺意外啊做手術嘅時候都要輸血啦。但係點解需要輸血咧？因為咧，我哋輸血嘅話，意思即係話輸入去血液 contain something essential for life 係有助我哋維持生命嘅。咁若果我哋想研究下血入邊究竟有啲乜嘢嘅時候，我哋可以點樣研究咧？咁其中一個做法咧，就係、是、好似佢咁樣做啦。And you can still see you want that, so put it in the right size tube holders for the tube you're using. Right, right, so the other thing you need to do when you're putting the tubes inside the centrifuge is try to disperse them in such a way, or put them in me. such a way that they are balancing each other in their weights. So if you, yeah, where you promote it, these centrifuges convert those to bottom. Those You can open it, so you're simply going to flip the switch back on the locking mechanism on the lid, and then there's a button on the front of the centrifuge that you have to push to actually open the lid. So there's two different locks here. So once both those locks are undone, you can lift the lid, take the samples out, and you can use them however you plan on using them. 咁經過玻璃心機之後咧，我哋見到啲血液咧，其實就已經變成有兩層噶啦。咁你會見到上面有一層黃黃地嘅。下面有一層咧深紅色嘅，咁樣兩層係乜嘢嚟嘅咧
。原来经过离心机之后咧，我哋嘅血液可以分为两大部分。第一部分黄黄地嘅，我哋叫做 plasma， 咁但系占咗五十五 percent 嘅 volume。第二部分咧，最底嘅就系啲 blood cells， 系一啲、呃、血身体上高血嘅細胞。咁讲血液嘅时候咧，我哋呢张图简单清楚显示咗啦。咁其实 c e n t r i f u g e 完之后咧，系会有两部分嘅。咁如果有两部分嘅时候咧，我哋就可以谂下啦。咦，究竟我哋点样可以知道入面有啲乜嘢系真系存在啊？咁其实我哋可以用翻之前、呃、第一课或者系高中第五课嘅一啲内容啦。咁就系做啲 food test。咁譬如我哋用翻 glucose test paper、grease b o a r d test、protein test paper。等等咧，我哋都可以測試到究竟喺 plasma 嗰度係有啲乜嘢喺度。咁我哋發現有好多嘢咧，其實係溶咗喺個 plasma 裡面嘅。因為 plasma 咧最主要嘅成分係水嚟嘅。咁當然有啲咧就溶喺入面啦，有啲就浮喺上面嘅。咁如果睇翻上面嘅成分，有用嘅包括咗藍色嘅部分，例如 glucose、vitamin C、hormones、antibodies 同埋 fibrinogen 等等。咁大家聽過就得噶啦。咁至於 carbon dioxide 咧，從 urea 都會喺度揾到嘅。咁所以 plasma 其實有啲乜嘢用啊，或者我點樣去 test 啊？咁啱先講過啦。plasma 其中一個用途咧，其實就做一個 medium for transporting substances， 去運送一啲嘢。咁另外咧，亦都會幫我哋將啲熱力咧運到去全身唔同嘅地方嘅噃。咁你又睇下呢個短片啦。What color is the liquid flowing through your veins, arteries, and capillaries? Trick question. It's not blue or red, but technically, it's actually yellow. The blood that you see when you cut yourself looks red because it contains millions of red blood cells. But the fluid which the blood cells are suspended in is actually yellowish or straw-colored. It's called plasma. If you were to spin a blood sample really fast or centrifuge it, you would soon find that plasma makes up about 55% of the volume of blood. And plasma itself is actually 90% water. This means it's perfectly adapted for its transport function. So, what does plasma transport? It carries red blood cells, which themselves carry oxygen, and white blood cells. And platelets and nutrients. The nutrients come from the food we eat every day, and include amino acids, vitamins, fats, sugars, and fatty acids. These key components are used to keep us fit and healthy. Plasma also transports heat throughout the body, and can even help with heat loss. As well as being 90% water, plasma is 7% proteins. Some of these proteins in the blood plasma are involved in defence. These include globulins, functioning as antibodies, which are used to fight infection, and fibrinogen, which helps to form clots to seal wounds. To learn more about how blood clots, watch this video. The most important protein in plasma. Is albumin. Albumin proteins in the blood plasma pull water back into the blood capillary from the surrounding tissues. The albumin in the blood plasma means there is a higher water concentration in the fluid in the surrounding tissues than there is in the blood. This means water is pulled back into the blood from the tissues by osmosis and water moving down its concentration gradient. We say that the albumin maintains the osmotic pressure of the blood, as well as 90% water and 7% proteins. Plasma also has important salts and electrolytes such as sodium and potassium. These are really important in keeping our nerves firing, so they can send messages around the body. Plasma also includes enzymes that catalyze reactions and hormones that regulate body functions. So, as well as moving useful substances around the body, plasma is also involved in getting rid of waste products like urea. Urea is produced in the liver when excess amino acids are broken down. 
the nitrogen from the amino acids is converted to ammonia. But this is poisonous, and so we don't want it in our blood. Instead, it's converted again to urea before being released into the plasma. The blood plasma is filtered by the kidneys and the urea is removed from the body in the urine. So, to summarise, the plasma has a range of roles, including maintaining blood pressure, water levels and body temperature. It has a major role in transporting many substances around the body, including hormones, nutrients, gases, waste products and proteins, such as antibodies and enzymes. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well?